Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to update your soft mod to the latest version of the 2016 soft mod using the 2016 soft modding tool extras disk. So when you insert the disk, the, you'll be presented with this menu and you want to scroll down to the advanced features and press A button and then you want to go down to the update section. Now you have two choices. If you are running my 2014 soft mod from a few years ago, then you select this option. It will check to make sure that you're actually running my 2014 soft mod. If you are, it will tell you and then it will proceed with the update. If not, you'll get an error telling you that you're not running it. Now it's the exact same procedure with the 2016 soft mod. It will check. If you're running it, it will tell you and then it will proceed with the update. If not, you will get an error and it will tell you that it's not installed. So the way the update procedure works is I only update the back end files, so only update the soft mod files and the NK patcher settings. I don't touch your dashboard, so your dashboard is never touched. And I'll explain that at the end of the video. So right now, like I said, it's got to do some checks. Now you can back out at this point if you wish. Uh, we don't, so let's do some checks. Success, running my soft mod. Press OK. It will then copy some files to the hard drive and then it will load into the second stage of the update procedure. Now, when this dashboard loads, you have two choices. You can either finish the update or you can exit and clean up. Now, with the update, upgrade and uh, factory reset options of the 2016 soft modern extras disk, you will always get the chance to back out and clean up. So if you select an option and you change your mind, you can back out and it will clean, it will remove the files off the hard drive and restart your Xbox and you will be back where you were, where you left off. So in this case we want to finish the update. I will then proceed to update the back end files, set up the recovery dashboard and update NK patcher settings and then a little dialogue will pop up asking you to remove the disk, the tray will eject. You take the disk out and then you press the A button, the disk tray will close and the Xbox will restart. So, like I said, the disk tray just ejected, you remove your disk and you press the A button. Now it says please remove the disk from the tray and press open bracket. That is press A. Um, if you're not running 480p, it's based on the width of your screen and stuff like that. Um, I'll see if I can fix it. It should be simple to do. But for this purpose, you just press the A button. The disk tray closes. The Xbox will do a soft reset, so it'll go to the X logo screen. The LED will turn orange, and then it will do another soft reset to the X logo screen. At this point, the update is complete, so it will now load into whatever dashboard you had previously. So, like I said previously, it doesn't touch your dashboard and it has no reason to do so. So if you're still using the C dashboard path and you are using my skin, so if you have an older version of this skin, so if you're using the RC version, or the beta versions of this skin, then you'll still be using that even though the soft mod files have been updated. So if you want to use the latest version of this skin, then you would need to go to Applications, NK Patcher Settings, go to the Dashboard menu, and then go to the uh, Backup, Restore or Move option. And then when that loads, you would go down to Restore C dashboard and it will then reinstall the dashboard and it will in install the skins and then you have a choice. Uh, with this version you have two versions of the skin now. You have the default and you've got the wide. So the wide just allows obviously longer text to appear. So games with wider names now don't scroll. So that's how you update your soft mod to the latest version of the 2016 soft mod. So, thank you for watching.